Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Toph. Today we're tasting wine. We are trying, I know it's Tempranillo. I know it's from Spain. I know it's from Tours. I don't know how to pronounce it. Celeste. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be a more difficult name. <laughs> Celeste. Is that it? Yeah, Celeste. Celeste? Like celestial, celestial. Now I can't say that word. Celestial. Like of the. Oh, the stars. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because that's like uh, this their... This an embarrassing turn. Their logo is like the constellations. Yeah, all the constellations and all stuff. All the constellations. How on cool. Yeah, this is a 2014. Yum. 14.5% alcohol. Cool. Uh, it's from Spain, you said? It's from Spain, yeah. I won, I do want to get more into tours, because that's like a region where a lot of uh, Tempranillo. Tempranillo, what is it? Tempranillo? Tempranillo. The Tempranillo. double L is like a B. Yeah, Tempranillo, that's where a lot of Tempranillo comes from. That's kind of their grape, it's kind of their thing. There you go. Uh, so. Spilling, spilling. This is a nice color, nice and maroon. Yeah, like so. A dark, dark, purpley, plum yeah. maroon. You're good at the colors. I always let you have the colors. Yeah, I knew my color wheel. You knew it pretty well. Kindergarten. Huh? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we haven't had too, too much wine. Oh, wow. wow. It's. Oh Strong. wow! This smells like you walk into a butcher shop, but like like a butcher with cheese kind of shop. It smell doesn't smell like really hearty, it's very hearty. meat forward, kind yeah. of salty. Uh, the one word I was gonna say is hearty. Yeah. And then I get I get more like brine mm. as opposed to salt. Really. More of that like briny, oceany kind of you know brine like Ooh. seaweed stuff like that. that that type of salt ah uh, okay yeah. okay yeah i kind of agree with that but i could definitely see the uh like where that meat kind of comes from because it's that really bold robust oh my god this is also smell. this is also like flaming hot cheetos when you dip the flaming hot cheetos in like that cheddar cheese nacho cheese whatever mixture it's literally like that on top of the flaming cheeto oh <laughs> oh it's so good oh wow this smell mm. is nice yeah i do like this i do like this a lot i wonder what it's gonna taste like oh i'm so excited yeah we shall see here oh so smoky so meaty oh my god this is smoke amazing. that is a really good one smoke is a good one kind of the same on the taste I'm going to say, right off the bat, this needs to decant. Yeah, this, it feels um, just compacted. Like, yeah, it's really like compacted, compacted and like muted. Everything is pretty muted. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot of flavors there, but they're quick, Yeah, it's just know. like quick on, quick off. Quick on, quick off. Definitely needs to be decanted. I have a feeling this is going to be an amazing wine. I am so <laughs> excited. <laughs> wow. Set me up strong. Well, we will decant and come back. It has been probably like over, it's been over an hour. Yeah, it's probably been like an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half in the decanter. Chassis. I know. The color has become a little bit more ruby rather than kind of purpley plum, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, I'm not the best judge of color. I, I couldn't tell you. I think it's changed a little bit. <laughs> I would believe you if you said so. I think nose is the exact same. Nose is the same, but it's... uh. Not as powerful, but it's more interesting. Mm, so right? fast. Like it's not for me. It's not as pungent as it was, but it seems to be more interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit more balanced. I would say um, that mm -hmm. flaming hot Cheeto smell is a little bit less than what it was before. Bummer. I know. Oh, oh, oh. I have to hold your Cheetos over here. Oh, I'll hold your Cheetos. All right. I wonder how it tastes. Mm, it's definitely got more berries in it. The finish is definitely longer. I mm. can't serve this very well. Mm. Yeah, it's way more pleasant. It's just, it's not so tight. It's not so grippy. Yeah. Kind of let go of like, you know, the tension it had. It's definitely well balanced. Um, a lot more fruit forward now. Mm -hmm. um, longer finish. I feel like I need a second sip. And it doesn't have that much acidity. I feel like I had more acidity before him. So maybe the decant, it's still got a little bit of acidity, but definitely a lot less than what it was. Yeah, I think it has a little bit of smoke on there still. Um, it's kind of like the nose, just like a little bit more toned down, um, but more fruit forward. 
and a little bit of smoke, a little bit of that kind of like meatiness to it. Yeah, I get tart um, cherries. Yeah. Tart cherries, like maybe a little bit of like leather or some sort of like wood, leather, you know, smokes or something like that. Mm, like, yeah. you know, almost like a, on the taste, it's kind of like walking into like a cigar room. <laughs> you know, if people are like smoking cigars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it kind of has like the wood, it has the smoke. Yeah, a little bit of that like leafy. It has the leather. Leaf, leafy green, <laughs> tobacco, you know. Tobacco, yeah. yeah. And those, like, I don't forget the leaves, they roll them in, but whatever those leaves are, those have like that smell as a taste. Oh, yeah, what are those leaves? No. Nah. Just say you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what else do you get? You get anything else on the taste or no? Um, not too much. I don't think it's like as yeah, it's a little rocky. I don't think it's as dynamic on the taste as it is on the nose. Um, but it's still good. Definitely drinkable. Super interesting. You said um, earlier it was going to be an amazing wine. Do you still stand by that or no? Yeah. I think it's a really really good wine. I don't know if I go amazing. It's really good for, for twenty bucks. Yeah, I guess I'm a little um, disappointed because I thought more of the nose was going to stay there after the longer decant, and I think that after the longer decant, um, less of that nose is there. So I don't know if maybe you only decanted it for, or if we only decanted it for maybe like 35, 40 minutes, if it would well, you make did. a little bit of a difference. Yeah. But it could come back to, I don't know. Yeah. Could come back. Cook them back. Well, I, I, I'm more about the taste than the smells. The smells are amazing, oh, and I love the smells, but at the end of the day, I'm drinking the wine, and I'm not inhaling, you know, the alcohol through my nose. Smell is a it is very, huge part of oh, taste. Oh, yeah, of course. It definitely is. Oh, 100%. But i rather have a phenomenal taste than a phenomenal nose. See? I like the nose. Really? So yeah. You, because if that's so, we could just send you to the gardens and you can just smell the roses. Just smell the roses. Just smell the roses, <laughs> you know? More wine for me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for joining us here, tasting wine. Get out there, taste some wine. Try something new. If you've tried any um, any Tours uh, Tempranillos, mm. let us know. If you've had this one, let us know. This is 2014. I would definitely uh, buy a new vintage of this. Heck, yeah. I, I think it's... Uh, good enough to like buy but i wouldn't buy any more of this one i don't know i think i would if you could find the anyway let us know what you're <laughs> tasting <laughs> leave it. what should we taste next who knows i don't know let us know yeah let us know what you taste next leave a comment down below all right cheers cheers